Georgia, Georgia, no oh, peace of mind, just an old sweet song, Georgia on my mind. Y'all in trouble in Georgia With Herschel Walker at the helm oh, oh my goodness, good morning Good afternoon, good evening family And welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me Your illustrious host Khadija, this was one of the funniest things I heard today, and I think it came from NBC News, I believe, Fox News, one of them, uh, but this is what Herschel Walker, as y'all know, he's challenging Raphael Warnock in Georgia, and I cannot believe that anybody, in any sane and rational person would want him to represent um, them. And you know, what's really insulting about uh, Donald Trump more than anything, as far as I'm concerned, is um, not just the stuff he does, you know, but the innuendos that he makes. You know, like he always getting ignorant black people, uh, like those women, Diamond and Silk, now you got Georgia uh, Republican um, Senate Herschel Walker, the candidate. And these are the people he likes to put up front representing black people. You know, and I really have a problem with that, that he does that. It really irks me. It irks me to my soul. So he is such a racist, in my opinion. He's such a damn racist. And people that... Um, Anybody that would vote for Herschel Walker for senator because Donald Trump said so. You are such a functionary puppet and um, you really, really got issues. You really do. You need help. Serious help. Because his own team said they can't believe a damn thing he said because he's such a compulsive, pathological liar. As a matter of fact, don't take my word for it. Check out this story right here. When a candidate, Herschel Walker, attempted to explain some of the scandals surrounding his campaign in a pre-recorded interview with Fox News' Brian Kilmeade in late July. Among the topics discussed were his repeated declines to debate his Democratic opponent, Senator Warnock, his refusal to publicly claim several of his children, confusion on his employment status with the FBI, and controversy surrounding his recent comments on China. Herschel Walker still refuses to agree to any debate. Why would you commit to October 16th? Well, one of the first things you got to think about, a debate is for the people, not for any press or for any uh, a political party. He keeps talking about debates because he don't want to talk about his terrible record. Within a week of you getting the nomination, the uh, outcomes, revelations about three children, they say you haven't acknowledged in the past. We know about your son, Christian. What about the three others? I've acknowledged my other kids and thing. I didn't acknowledge them here because and now my, my daughter, uh, people have seen her at some of the functions I've been at. My two youngest kids, I'm not going to acknowledge them because I don't want them to be on any kind of scrutiny. What about your work at the FBI? You said in the past you worked for the FBI. Did you? No, I never said I worked with the FBI. I said I worked with, I've been to the FBI, trained with the FBI, which I did. You talked about the air and China's air and our air. I was good at it, decided to fall over to China, bad at it. <laughs> so when China gets out good at it, they're bad at it, they gotta move. And what did you mean by that? You know that is very simple. We have clean air here. China do not have clean air. And I said, we're doing our part. So you rip up the Paris climate deal until China and Russia uh, have bought in. <laughs> well, everybody gotta buy in. Don't you like everybody gotta buy in? If everybody don't buy in, what do we do? 
Prior to running for the Georgia Senate, Herschel Walker was a professional NFL running back for 12 seasons. He played college football at the University of Georgia, where he won the Heisman Trophy as a junior. According to his campaign website, he has been diagnosed with disassociative identity disorder as a result of trauma he experienced in childhood. He claims that he had dedicated his life to helping others struggling with mental health. A recent Daily Beast article revealed that his own campaign aides have many concerns regarding his honesty on both his personal and professional background. One advisor said he spouts falsehoods like he's breathing. He's lied so much that we don't know what's true. <coughs> the source added that aides have zero trust in the candidate. <coughs> Three people interviewed for the article independently called him a pathological liar. Polling by WXIA TV Survey USA from July showed Walker's <coughs> opponent, Democrat Raphael Warnock, with a lead of nine points. Warnock received support from 48% of respondents and Walker was backed by only 39%. The poll included 604 likely voters, with a margin of error of plus or minus 5.3 points. Democratic opponent Warnock released a new television ad last week, criticizing Walker for dodging three debate invitations, which he himself accepted. Whether they debate or not, Georgia voters will decide in November who will represent them. Thank you for watching Raw Story TV. Please be sure to visit us <laughs> oh, at rawstory.com, stay informed, and okay, chat with the by liking, guys. subscribing, and joining all those who like their news well. Okay. Okay. Now, <coughs> when your own team can't believe a damn word you say, and that they claim you a pathological liar because you've been lying since you opened up your mouth. You've been diagnosed with disassociative identity disorder. We know you are, you've been known to kick a woman's ass from here to the other side of Georgia. You will put your foot in somebody's ass because you've done it on several occasions. Um, so you're an abuser and you're an ab you abusive and this is what the Republicans want to represent coming up out of Georgia. See, because Donald Trump had to find a black man to go against the black, the other black man. So in his infinite racism, he went and got a fool like this man here. Excuse me. I've just got to call it like I see it. Uh, he, again acts like a CTE patient and I'm not particularly sure if he is or not. I heard someone say that it's allegedly that he has had um, a lot of damage from his football playing days because he was a beast. Okay? You know, run, Herschel, run. He was like that um, it was, who was that? Remember that slave in Roots that O.J. Simpson played that was running? That's who he is, and that's who he was on the football field. So, you know, OG, uh, this guy is an embarrassment, and I can't understand if he wins the election out of Georgia. Shame on Georgians. Shame on y'all. Y'all, if don't nobody else vote, y'all cannot, everybody, y'all got to come up out the woodwork to, to make sure that he don't uh, get a seat in the Senate. Because that would be too, too messed up. We got enough problems as it is without adding his psychotic, pathological liar. I guess he fit in with the rest of them, though, huh? Okay. Leave me, leave me your opinion. Let me know what you think about it. I'll see you in the next video.